there. So um, we're going to now do a little bit of statistical analysis of some of the data that we've been working on inside our map. Um, first of all, I'm going to add the um, the Hadlow habitat information that we've been working on in the past. Um, and I'm just going to rename this as well, just so we don't get confused. And it's actually I'm just going to call it habitat types. So there we go, so that's the first thing to do. Um, just have a quick look at the um, attributes that are sitting behind this table. Um, because this is a feature class inside a Geo database, we've got these two columns that are automatically um, managed by the Geo database. Um, the uh, shape area and the shape length. Um, and these numbers are actually in meters. So the area there is meters squared. Um, and this is, again, length in meters as well. Um, and you can see it's, it's displaying it in quite a few decimal places there as well. But what will happen if we go and edit any of these particular shapes, um, the Geo database will automatically update these columns for us. Um, and then this last column here is the one that we've added ourselves um, to record the different habitat types here. Um, so I'd like to do a bit of um, summarising of, of some of this data. And I'd like to um, work out um, the number of hectares of each of these different habitat types. Um, currently this information is actually in meters squared um, so there's a few things we can do before we get started. I mean we need to first of all convert this um, to hectares um, and that's quite a straightforward process as well. Um, to do that we actually need to add a new column um, to do the, um, the conversion to hectares. Um, so I'm going to first of all do that. Um, if you remember, you can only add fields to a database when you're not editing. So I'm currently not editing the database. Um, so I need to pop up here to the um, table options. Um, and I'm going to add a field. I'm going to just call it hectares. Um, HA for short. Um, short integer is uh, a number option, so that's what we want it to be. Um, and I'm just going to click OK. So again, it doesn't put anything in there, start with its null. Um, and a couple of, well, the really, the quickest, easiest way to um, to get the calculation in there or to calculate the area in hectares is to um, go to the top of the column and right click on the top of the column. Um, and now we're going to what, they, what we would call calculate geometry. And that's basically going to do a calculation on each of the polygons that you can see there on, um, for each of the rows. So if I click that um, and I just accept this message here um, and this is going to, to do the clever calculations for us. Um, so the property we want is the area, so we're trying to work out the area of each one of these polygons um, and we can choose the units that it will calculate in. Um, I want hectares, so I'm going to just choose hectares and I'm going to click OK and it will then run the calculation once I accept this. Um, and there we go, so it's, it's gone along and it's basically done the calculation and stuck the numbers in there for us automatically, which is really good. Um, so the next sort of stage on is, is to actually now summarize this information. Um, so I'm just going to close this down, this um, the attribute table of the habitat types down for a bit. Um, to do summarizing, there's a couple of ways, but the easiest way is to actually go into another tool up here, and this is called the Arc Toolbox. Um, so I'm going to click that, and then I'm going to go to one of these um, tools. I'm going to go to the Analysis Tools, and then under Analysis, I'm going to go to Statistics, and then under that, I'm going to choose Summary Statistics. So if I double tap this, it will bring up this box. Um, again, reasonably straightforward. Um, it's asking me for an input table, so I'm going to choose the attribute table from my habitat types there, um, which is like so. It's now asking me for an output table, and this is the location that it's going to save the data, because it's going to create a new table with the summary data in it. And I'm going to go and put that back inside my current Geo database. So I just need to make sure that I make sure I create a file. Um, for it to go inside my Hadlow Geo database. So I'm just going to call it Habitat. Summary. Uh, stats. 
um, so let's save, so it's, it's telling me that's going to be the new output table for it. Um, I now need to choose the fields um, from that attribute table to do the summarising on, and I'm going to choose the um, the hectare one, so that's the new um, field that I just created, which has got all the hectares inside it. Um, you'll notice that you get this initially, you get this little warning um, up here, and that is because I haven't chosen the statistic type. Um, and again, if I click over here, I get this little drop down box, and I can choose from various different statistical calculations. Um, I'm going to just sum them, so that's all we're going to do is we're going to just add them up. And if I scroll down a little bit further, um, which is the clever bit, um, I need to choose a case field. Uh, again, we don't have to, but in this case we want to. And I'm going to, again, I'm going to choose habitat type this time. And what that's going to do is it's going to calculate the area in hectares for each of the habitat types that are inside my attribute table. So if I click OK, I get this little blue message down here saying that it's doing the calculations and I should get the little tick pop up saying that it's completed the calculations and it's gone and added the table here um, to my layers as well and the table should also have been added to my geo database so if I go and look down there we go habitat habitat summary stats are also inside the geo database as well so if I just quickly right click on the table itself and open it we can have a look at what it's done so it's it's given me the habitat types it's telling me how many polygons there are for each habitat type and it's also summarized or it's calculated um, or counted in fact added and given me a total um, area there in hectares for each of these different habitat types um, and that was all within a few clicks, um, so that's, that's really quite straightforward.